Hello and a warm welcome to one and all. Greetings from the Orbis School. So children, do you remember this story? Yes, I'm sure you all have read the story, Will the Boat Float? So today I'm going to ask you all a few questions from this story. Are the four animal friends? Yes, and they live together on the same farm. The pig in the sty and the cow in the cow shed. Where are the animals going? Yes, they all are going where there are big buildings. To the city. Why have they come to the river? Because they have to cross the river to go to the city. Do you think the boat is big enough for the four friends? Yes, I think the boat is big enough for four of them. Who is the first animal to get into the boat? Look at the picture. Yes, it is a cow who gets into the boat first. Will the boat float or sink after the cow gets in? Look at the picture. Oh, the boat is floating. Which animal gets in the boat next? Yes, it is the pig. Is there any change in the boat when the pig gets in? No, the boat is still floating. First, the cow gets in the boat. Next, the pig gets in the boat. And which animal you think is next after the pig? Yes, it is the dog. First, the cow gets into the boat. Next, the pig gets in and then the dog gets in. Finally, which animal gets into the boat? Yes, the rat. Do the animals look scared? Yes, they look very scared as the boat is sinking. What will happen if they fall into the water? Let's see. Oh, look at them. They are all safe and they are all floating. Have you ever wondered what makes some objects to float and some to sink? Objects that are light float and objects that are heavy sink. Okay children, let's look at the objects that can float. What's the first one? The leaves. The ball. Look at the duckling. Feather. And the, and the tube. Now let's look at the objects that sink. Oh, I can see the pebble, spoon, key, coin and a glass. Hope you enjoyed. Bye.